How are you? The air is brisk against my bark and my roots are heavy with dampness. Hi, my name is Evan Greeley. Um, this is the Talking Tree Project. It all started when I thought, could I make nature have, have a voice? We've built an interface so people can talk to nature and talk to trees. Um, we've taken sensors like temperature, humidity, soil moisture, soil pH, even the bioelectrical signals from the tree. We feed them into an AI model that then translates these um, into human language so that we can have a back and forth conversation with nature. Years ago I shared the soil with many other tree roots. So many signals in the earth. Now there are fewer. The silence beneath me has grown. We can kind of learn its feelings, for lack of a better word, over time, but also things like if a human comes up and touches it, we can sense that. Um, and where we want to go with the project is, can we use it in conservation? Can we actually understand what a um, mycelium network that connects all the trees underneath? If I touch one tree over there, does this tree feel that and how does it feel it? That's where we're pushing the project to. Um, can farmers talk to their crops? Um, can we detect? Uh, wildflowers um, before they go, go out of hand by talking to nature and by connecting ourselves in this way. Pause for a moment, feel the air, look up through my branches, listen to the wind. The world isn't just what's on a screen. I just spoke to a tree. I was actually missing the connection with nature in general and I feel like this really helped me. It was a very strange and surreal experience because I passed by this tree for the last 20 years. I've passed by it nearly every day so uh, a very unique experience and kind of uh, quite emotional actually in a weird way. It's um, important to try to make more of a conscious effort to get out and connect with nature so it's a good reminder of that I'd say. In my time I felt summers grow hotter and longer and winters turn less harsh. And using AI to um, give nature a voice is something that's really interesting and we really st uh, strive to make sure that it's as sustainable as possible. So we're not using any cloud resources to run this or energy intensive um, sources uh, to run this. Everything is actually hosted locally on the, the device behind me. Um, the large language model, the text-to-speech, the speech-to-text, it all happens locally. So it's an AI brain that's not connected to the internet in any way that allows the tree to speak. Serenity settles in when you let the noise fall away. Right now, standing beneath my branches, you're already closer to it than you realize. 